to begin this video we're going to start off with the military push-up bring those arms close in this push-up right here targets the upper chest the delts and the tricep now be sure not to flare those elbows out like that no you want it right here slow and control down and up make sure those arms are close and you're going all the way down and all the way up now I'll play it in slow motion for you so you all can see in the beginning my delt is already activated and then when I go down that chest is eccentric arm motion then it's, it goes it moves to the concentric motion as I comes up and it contracts right there I'm going down there's a little bit of trap activation in there but the main thing with the military push-up is the tricep activation not like that no because your elbows are in danger right here it's perfect form. There's a little bit of that form activation right there. Also, when you do a perfect form, notice my glutes aren't too low, aren't too high. They're like at, at hip level at most, but all the way down, all the way up, military push-up. Right here is another angle. Right here, you really see my tricep and even a little bit of my lats being activated as I come up. But the first push-up is the military push-up. Next up, I move it on to the wide push-up. This is the second push-up. This is going to get the width of the chest. Also, the tricep a little bit more. A little bit of the short head of the, of the tricep and the long head of the bicep. And also, the delts again. Here's the video in slow motion. Now, with this, my elbows are able to flare out more and go wider because my whole upper body is flaring out more and wider. Everything has to be even. I wouldn't do a military close-range push-up with wide elbows. No, but wide push-up right here. Going all the way down, all the way up. Those glutes stay at hip level. Here's a front view of that wide push-up. All the way down to your chest is at ground level. And come all the way up until those triceps extend out. Wide push-up. Right after that, I moved on to a form of an archer push-up. Now, I must say my calisthenics movements have gotten worse due to my intensity in bodybuilding in the gym. But this right here is the archer push-up. I'm going to show you all the different angle and explain it some more. Now, the archer push-up is going to work a lot more of the delt and the tricep than a regular push-up due to its range of motion. And also, you have some abdominal workouts being done in there, too. Next up, we have the one-hand push-up again. My movements have gotten a little worse when it comes to body weight due to my intensity in bodybuilding. But you all know when I was young, I do this a lot better right here. But the one-hand push-up obviously builds insane body weight strength. Now, this form could be a lot better, but insane body weight strength using that one hand to lift up all of your body weight. This is why it works, and it hits the upper body as well. Next up, we have the Superman push-up. This is going to activate the full body and, I, and not only physically change your appearance, but also increase the endurance of your muscles and your upper body. The Superman push-up is the final one, and that is how I got shredded with just these five push-ups right here.